Today's message is called The Lies We Believe. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. Okay, that's the first thing he says. He's talking about the devil and he's saying there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. He is, so the devil is a liar and the father of it, meaning he's the originator, he's the creator, he's the designer of lies. Thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. And he says, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. What happens if we use a resource, the resource of the enemy? We do not fulfill the purpose of God. We, in fact, agree with the enemy. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Glory talks about who God is and what he does, the character of God, the very nature of God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Matthew 24 and verse 35, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, which means that truth is eternal. This is, what, this is how it goes. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This is the ministry of the Lord Jesus. Acts 10 verse 37 and 38 says, 38 says that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So how were they oppressed by the devil? Because he used his schemes. He used his resources. One of which was lies. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Created in Christ Jesus for good works. I am his workmanship. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Okay. We are a new creation. We are in Christ. Loved by the King of kings and Lord of lords. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. Who is he talking about? He is talking about the Lord Jesus. He's saying the word became flesh and dwelt among us, lived among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He's saying we beheld his glory. He dwelt among us. He stayed with us. He moved with us. And we beheld his glory. And glory talks about who God is and what he does. Your eyes saw my substance yet being unformed. And in your book they were all written, the days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. So in God, we have purpose. So that's the truth. The speaker of truth declares purpose over our lives. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Okay. The lie from the enemy is that you can never overcome. The lie from the enemy is that you can never get out of this prison. I've locked it, I've thrown the keys off, and, and you cannot escape. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. The lie from the enemy is that you can never get out of this prison. I've locked it, I've thrown the keys off, and, and you cannot escape. The declaration of truth is that we are no longer slaves of sin. 
We are no longer slaves of sin.